have heard the phrase bowl in a china shop, how about a steer in a palace? The Brown Palace Hotel, where today a 77 year tradition continued. The stock show's grand champion steer was brought into the hotel during its well known tea time. How lovely. The unique event started back in 1945. And tonight, that grand champion steer gets auctioned off to the highest bidder. It's another big stock show tradition, and that will air right here on 9 News at 630. It's a big night. Last year, the champion steer sold for a record $160,000. Trying to beat that tonight. Kathy Sabin is at the stock show with a preview of tonight's activity. Good evening. I'm Kathy Sabin out here with my new co-host, Kevin Ochtner, and we also have world champion auctioneer John Corey. We are in the Beef Palace at the National Western Stock Show getting ready for what we hope will be a record evening. John, last year, the grand champion this year, a record $160,000. Can we beat it? You know, I think we can. We've got a Colorado champion this year from Kersey, Colorado, and that hasn't happened since 1997. Uh, last year, 160000 You know, I'm thinking it'll be close to 200000 I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. But one thing about it, we're going to have some fun. We're going to raise some money for the scholarship kids and their families. And uh, it's because of you and, and Kevin and Kathy that uh, we're going to be successful tonight. Well, and I heard the reserve champion hog also from Colorado the the owner of that and I heard the hockey go more for the steer no well I don't know you never know I feel good tonight I feel good because we got a cowboy co-host tonight Kevin right here third generation Colorado farmer and rancher it, uh, from Kersey, it's my pleasure to be here this evening uh, joining you, and I'm excited about what we're going to do, John. You know, we have world-class livestock, but more importantly, world-class kids. Tell us, you know a little bit about these kids and what they're made of. Tell us why tonight is so special as we recognize these young people. Well, it is. This is the cream of the crop. There's so many, a lot, thousand head of livestock went through here, and we're, we're actually selling 95 head. So there's a lot of exhibitors that didn't make the sale. So we have the cream of the crop. They've all put the work and effort into it. They work year round on these projects. Not only those, but their families, their parents, their grandparents. And so this is a big deal for them. And to come out and support the auction in Denver, the National Western, is really second to none because we market these kids and their livestock that's coming from many, many states. I love it. You've got the belt buckle. I right? Do. We got the buckles, we got the boots, oh, we got the and we have the manure that Kevin <laughs> volunteered to scoop up right after this segment. So I'd say we are ready for an amazing night, gentlemen. We are going to raise money for kids to further their education in agriculture, and we couldn't be more proud to be a part of this event. Thank you, gentlemen, Thank you. and we will see you all at 630.